Hi, let me show you how easy it is to run the entire eye tracking study, eye tracking research, research in a web browser using a webcam. So first of all, uh, you have to create a study. Uh, here you have three options. You can either choose images, videos, as a, or a live website uh, as a stimuli. So let's say that we want to create an images-based study. So the first screen uh, is the study setup screen. We have a few options here, the ability to show items in the random order, show separator between items, ask participants about their name, gender, and age, and some external tool integration. I'll leave these options as they are for this demo, demo purposes. And the second screen is all about adding the images to the test. So let's me, let me just add uh, three sample images. Let's say a movie poster, a planogram, and an advertisement. And as soon as they are uploaded and processed, we will be able to, uh, set, to set some additional uh, settings for each one of them. So first of all, uh, I would like the planogram to be displayed first, so I can pin this item as the first one. Uh, and then we can move on to the settings. So before presenting the planogram, uh, there is a place to display one line of instruction saying, click the product you per purchase. Uh, here I can also set a short survey, which is going to be displayed after every item. So let's say that I would like to ask my participants a choice question. Have you found the product you to purchase and this is going to be a yes no question okay i can also add an kind of like another questions which can be followed which can be displayed after the first one but i'm not going to do it in this in this case uh then uh maximum display time in this case it's 20 seconds then the ability to turn on or off the scrolling i'm just going to turn it off because i want the image to be displayed in the full in the full screen mode Here's the option to uh, bring the ability to finish displaying this item on click. So I have to select the active area. In this case, I'm just going to select the entire image and the ability to finish on the key press. I'm just going to leave it off. And the second image, I will also turn off the scrolling in here. I will also turn off the scrolling in the third image as well. The scrolling is pretty usable if you're t testing along images, for instance, a website mockups, because people can, can like feel like they're on the on the real website uh okay so the maximum display time for the second image let's say it's going to be eight seconds and for the third one let's say 20 seconds is fine but we're going to also turn on the ability to finish on the keepers all right so uh right now we have two options either do the preview by ourselves or run the study. I'm not going to do the preview right now because the results wouldn't be stored. I want to, I will do the test in a minute uh, to show you the actual results. So uh, select participants. I want 15, my own participants to join the study. So I'm kind of like reserving 15 spots, but also I would like to invite 15 real life, real life participants, English speaking US. We're trying to bring the participants within 24 business hours. Uh, so whenever we feel ready, let's run the study. This is step number three, results and fielding. Uh, we can see the most important actually thing here is the participation link, which we uh, should share with our participants. We can uh, take the link and like get, get the link in different, different languages so the test can be handled in different versions, but I'm just going to stick with the with the default English language test. Okay, so right now, right now let's uh, let's think of me as I am the participant, and I just got the link and I've entered the link to, the, to my web browser. So the test begins with several lines of instruction. Uh, then, as a participant, as a tester, I'm being asked to share the. Uh, the web, web camera. Uh, it's really important right here to underline that we are not storing any videos or any images from the webcam. So all the calculations are being made in the participants web browser and we're just storing the numeric variables of the gaze prediction. So as a tester, as the participant, after seeing several lines of instruction, I'm uh, being moved to the calibration part and the calibration is made out of 40 different 
points which I have to hover my, my mouse cursor over. The calibration is actually performed on three different uh, layouts, on three different backgrounds, white, black, and green. And this is because the monitor itself is a pretty heavy source of the light. So our system needs to learn how the face look like uh, with different lighting conditions. After 40 dots, there will be a calibration check part. So I have to kill these dots just with my eyes. I'm those looking, I was looking at the dots. My mouse cursor was in the middle and the test starts. So this is the initial instruction. And right now I'm going to see the item instruction, the image instruction. So click the product you would purchase. Okay. And this is the planogram. So I'm looking at pepper, Coca-Cola zero, Coca-Cola, apple juice, uh, orange juice, Fanta. Let me click Fanta. Have you found the product? Usually purchase, yes. And another image, Lona, uh, sorry, Brad Pitt's face. I'm just going to press spacebar to finish displaying this image. And the third one, what I'm doing, I'm browsing the faces of the actors one by one and checking the title of the movie. Here's the optional survey, which can be, can, or can, can be displayed at the end of the test. And from the participant perspective, that's basically it. So let's go back to the researcher dashboard. So as soon as any uh, participant, any tester finishes his or her test, uh, the results will be available here. So in this case, Adam, male 34, this is me. The data quality was graded as very good, which is very good. And we have actually three different ways to analyze the data. So let me jump to the first way, the participant recording. So what we're going to see here is the recording of uh, my gaze point in time, among with also a uh, fixation path, fixation plot, and optional a gaze plot. So as I was looking at the apple juice, orange juice Fanta, then I clicked the Fanta, as you can see, also my click was recorded. So this is the fixation plot, what are you seeing right now? But there is also an option to show a gaze plot. I'll just turn a little, a smaller noise reduction filter. The filters are also customizable for it by by you and this is the third the third stimuli that that i was in, inter interacting with uh as i said i was browsing through the faces and then uh through the title uh, also uh, we have the facial uh facial coding module turned on and in this case uh we are operating on three different uh, kind of like verticals the happiness level surprise level and the neutral face uh, so in this case uh our facial tracker detector uh, detected that I was surprised by viewing this, this, uh, this images. Okay. This is, uh, the option one to see the typical qualitative kind of like recordings. This is pretty useful when you're doing a longer sessions or for instance, on live websites, the session can be kind of like 60 minutes long and you can see how people were browsing the websites among with them, among with their gaze point, uh, gaze prediction. Okay, the second option to interact with the data is to do the aggregated analysis. And for this purpose, I'm just going to, mm, to find another study where there is a bit more results than just one. And there's a demo study, which I was recently doing on one of the webinars with the participants, and we have 24 results right over here. Uh, this looks familiar. We can see that there are results one under another from every single participants with the information about the data quality. Uh, but what I want to do now is to click the items tab and the items is showing us all the images uh, which were tested. We can also see here aggregated results of the survey. So for instance, the question was pretty similar. Have you found your favorite product? Yes, no, that was 50-50. Uh, and we can also see some statistics when it comes to finishing on peep key press. So for instance, this IKEA image, IKEA catalog was uh, kind of like changed after 7.7 uh, .7 seconds in average uh, and, and so on. We can, we could probably dive deeper into the analysis, but what I wanted to show you is the, basically the heat maps dashboard, which allows us uh, to analyze the data in the aggregated way. So this is a heat map built from 24 panelists. We can filter, filter them out by gender, age, data quality, or by tags, uh, and we can uh, read the data. The data comes in two different verticals, either in fixations 
or gazes. I'm just going to focus on the fixations now. So whenever uh, we would like to, for instance, analyze uh, this area, we're going to get the calculations for this area of interest right up here on the left. And the metrics that we provide is the average time to first fixation, average time spent, the total amount of fixation within this area ratio, average fixation duration, average first fixation duration, average revisits, and the amount of clicks. Uh, all the rest is uh, the data for the area of interest itself. You can obviously create uh, kind of like multi-part area of interest, and you can obviously save them for further analysis. Uh, and bring back the, the ones which were already saved uh, previously. Uh, there's also a time slider here on the bottom, so you can do the analysis, for instance, only for the first five minutes of the test and see how people were inter interacting with the image, with the item, only within the first five minutes and so on. Uh, okay, so this is pretty, as you can see, this is pretty powerful. And all the data which is being presented here on the left can be also uh, accessible through the data export. We provide several different types of export, exports the rawest uh, possible, so the raw gazes export, the export for fixations, and also export for area of, based on the area of interest, also facial coding surveys and keyboard and mouse export. So this is kind of like the third way to do the data analysis. Uh, one more thing I wanted to uh, I wanted to mention during this uh, this demo, there is something called a success rate in the typical kind of like online type of research. So it means that how many of the participants you invited can actually finish the test. And uh, actually, I'm pretty proud to say that around 80, 85 percent of people who are entering the eye tracking test can will bring you a good quality good quality results. So we have pretty pretty nice success rate, and we're actually pretty proud of it. Uh, okay, so in case you have any more questions, uh, please feel free to reach us out through contact, uh, contact page right over here, uh, or through the chat bubble, which is available here. We'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, let me invite, at the end, let me invite you to try the tool for free. So whenever you are on our landing page, there is a button called a try for free. And this is after signing up, you're going to get uh, a seven day uh, free license so you can test the tool by by yourself and decide whether it fits your research needs or not thank you <laughs> have a good day